Well, good afternoon, everyone. Can everyone hear me? It's the sound. The sound is working, is it? Yeah. Good. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm very pleased to be uh, here in Bucharest. This is my uh, second uh, visit as a minister. My last visit was as a, a foreign office minister, and I'm very pleased to be back here in Bucharest as a, a minister of defence. Uh, I've had very wide-ranging and positive discussions uh, with your minister of defence and your state secretary, as well as your uh, uh, chief of uh, defence and I think uh, several themes uh, stick out but uh, firstly I think it's the tremendous strength of our UK-Romania relationship as NATO partners. I think we really value and appreciate uh, Romania's steadfast contribution uh, to, the, uh, to the alliance uh, in the 20th year of its membership and the work we do together uh, as partners in the NATO alliance is something we, we hugely appreciate. We really enjoy working uh, together with Romania. We, we note the uh, very meaningful contribution your country makes and uh, it's, that's something we really enjoy. Of course that is illustrated by the, the air policing that we are very pleased to be a part of uh, in uh, Romania. And, uh, in fact, I'm going from here to Constanta to meet the, uh, the men and women of the British Armed Forces involved in that. Uh, but, of course, that is a, it's a joint effort and uh, the, the bilateral relationship underpins that uh, operational uh, capability that we are bringing to the skies of uh, Romania and to the region, because it's very important in terms of your regional security. We're also very pleased and proud of the work that we are doing together uh, to support our friends in Ukraine, defend their homeland and to fight for their sovereignty. Uh, we note the generosity and commitment of uh, the Romanian government in terms of uh, giving tremendous aid to Ukraine. Uh, we are following a, a, the same policy and uh, we really appreciate the collaboration and the, and the partnership that we have in that regard. Uh, and of course that's not just uh, about Ukrainian security, that's also about Black Sea regional security uh, and the work that we are to, doing together as two nations uh, uh, to improve and enhance uh, security in the Black Sea is hugely important. Um, it's not just important to our two countries, it's not just important to the regions, it's actually it's, a, it's, an, it's very important to, to the world because of course a huge uh, proportion of the world's uh, grain supplies and other economic activity takes place in the Black Sea. So. Black Sea security is something that we all feel very strongly about. So, uh, to, to summarise, I've had a very positive uh, series of meetings um, and uh, I look forward uh, to going now uh, to, to Constanta. Uh, but I'm very pleased to be back and you will know that um, it, from the British perspective, we have a deep affection for Romania. Uh, that is represented, of course, and illustrated by uh, the deep affection that our monarch, Charles III has for this wonderful country uh, and I'm sure many of you observed that uh, the first uh, visit that uh, His Royal Highness uh, His Majesty made after his coronation was to, uh, to Romania uh, and he's made, His Majesty's made many visits over the years reflective of that deep uh, cultural and human bond. That's also reflected in the fact that we have 1.2 million Romanians uh, in UK who uh, are very welcome and very successful members of our community, working hard, raising families, uh, building our economy and uh, making Romanian the, the, the second uh, spoken language in the UK. The, big, the largest uh, foreign language that is spoken in, in British homes is in fact Romanian and that's a very successful human relationship and one that uh, creates all sorts of amazing uh, linkages and uh, so that human element is something that we regard with tremendous affection and, and gratitude. So I'm very pleased to be here and I'm delighted to take your questions. Madam, please. Thank you for your warm uh, words about Romania and uh, about the relations between uh, the United Kingdom and Romania. But I want uh, to know what is your opinion about uh, David Cameron's statement a few days before on uh, uh, United Kingdom group for the crime? Well, I think um, I think uh, Lord Cameron. I, I think he was advocating that we continued uh, uh, that we should continue our resolute support for Ukraine. 
Uh, we've had some very significant um, announcements recently in, in Britain. Um, we have announced an increase in our uh, military aid to Ukraine, taking it from £2.5 billion pounds annually uh, up to £3 billion pounds annually. That's, a, that's an increase of £500 million, pounds which will be deployed uh, to ensure that the Ukrainians have the materiel and the munitions and the technology that they need to defend uh, their homeland. That's in the context of our increasing our overall uh, defence investment up to 2.5% of GDP uh, by 2030, which will mean that our um, defence budget will go from in excess of 50 billion pounds to uh, nearly 90 billion pounds by 2030. So it's a very, very significant increase. I think he was laying that out as a measure of our deep commitment to Ukrainian sovereignty, uh, but also our collective determination across NATO to ensure that uh, we invest in a way that gives us the, the fighting edge that we need. Um, we have a big discussion in the UK uh, about some countries historically over depending on the United States. So that those days are gone. All European NATO members need to ensure that they invest um, sufficiently, like Romania, like the UK, and that's why we enjoy working shoulder to shoulder so much. Thank you very much. And Radio Romania. Excellent. Welcome, Radio Romania. Sir. Mr. Reporting, we agree with the Romanian president that said yesterday during the meeting with the US president at the White House that NATO should reinforce its presence in Romania and on the entire Eastern Front. That's a great question. We, we do agree. We, we are committed to security on the eastern flank of uh, NATO. Clearly, the British commitment is very significantly in Estonia. We are the lead battle group in terms of enhanced forward presence, um, whereas it's a, it's a French battle group, as you know, in, in Romania. But of course, uh, there's a whole range of other stuff we can do bilaterally and in the NATO framework to ensure that the, the eastern flank of NATO is, is, is reinforced and that's why we're taking very significant measures, uh, particularly in, with regard to air policing. Our contribution to uh, air policing in the skies of Romania and uh, in the Black Sea as a whole is very significant. That's what I'm looking at today in Constanta. But also the other measures we can take bilaterally to ensure that Black Sea security is, is taken seriously. There's a real issue at the moment about mines and the need to have uh, proper mine countermeasures, and that's something we're doing tremendous work together on. So I agree with uh, the President, uh, and I think all NATO members now do take that very seriously, which is why you're seeing uh, more capability being deployed onto the eastern flank. Please. Hello, sir. I'm Romanian Public TV. Our President wants to be the next section of the, of the alliance. How is this seen in London? I mean, will your cabinet support Mr. Rutte or Mr. Johannes? Well, it's, it's not, I think it's out of scope for me to, to make announcements or give analysis as to, as to uh, particular candidates. Um, uh, clearly, we regard that as a very important role. So I think uh, I'll, I'll leave it to others to, to announce the measures about our support for candidates. Thank you. Madam. Madam, thank you. That's an excellent question. I mean, clearly there's a very high tempo of uh, exercises and joint working. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be meeting uh, men and women of the British Armed Forces in Constanta this afternoon who are part of the uh, uh, highly effective and very important uh, NATO air policing uh, mission, which is, has a very significant impact on uh, Romanian security and NATO security and, and Black Sea security. So I think we will see a very steady stream of that kind of joint working. Um, I'm in favour of uh, these sorts of exercises. They give opportunity to uh, British uh, troops as well as uh, Romanian troops. And in terms of uh, building long-term relations and joint security, it's those kind of opportunities that are very important. And also we have uh, opportunities for Romanians to train in UK in, in, in residential courses. So that's very important. So I think that kind of exchange of... Uh, of manpower and uh, people power uh, will uh, only be more and more relevant as we as we move into uh, as we move through the rest of this year. Thank you. Please. Uh, sorry, you talk about uh, capabilities to bring 
oil waste so of like uh, you give us an example for talking about troops, uh, AA systems. Yes, well, I think if you look at the eastern flank of NATO and the way that uh, enhanced, the, enhanced, the enhanced forward uh, presence uh, program driven by NATO has delivered a far higher degree of capability. It's been most impressive. Uh, clearly, a lot of that is conventional battle groups, but there is a, a high degree of uh, 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 air power as well worked into that, air defence and also uh, uh, air and naval assets. Um, and of course, that's, that's, that's multinational. Every NATO member is involved. Uh, clearly, our focus is on the, our battle group in Estonia, but we're particularly pleased with our contribution to air policing in Romania, and we think that really has delivered uh, a very significant capability uh, that adds to Romanian security, uh, adds, uh, adds uh, fighting edge to, to NATO's eastern flank, and uh, we couldn't do it if we weren't doing it together, and that's, I think, the real measure of its success. Thank you. You've had one, so you can't have another. We are very close about the Russian army. It was a little discussion about the pay for Ukraine. Uh, is the right moment for Romania to extend a patriot system to Ukraine? Yeah. Well, that's a matter for, um, uh, for Romania. Uh, clearly, what we all need to do is uh, as, to do as much as we can. This will be, I think, a critical year in terms of ensuring that you, the Ukrainians can... Uh, consolidate and uh, properly defend themselves, um, especially as we move towards the, the NATO summit in July. And I think what we have tried to do is lead by example in terms of ensuring that any spare munitions, technology or equipment that we have, we have given uh, to Ukraine. Your government has been extremely generous. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, I'd like to put that on public record. We really appreciate uh, how generous and how dynamic the Ukrainian, the, the, the government of Romania has been in its support of Ukraine. Uh, but it is incumbent on us all, given the gravity of the operational situation in Ukraine, for us to see what more we can do. Um, and because we must see this struggle, this conflict in, in terms of years, not months. This will be an important year and all friends of uh, Ukraine must see what more they can give. And we, and we are doing that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Felix. I've really enjoyed it. I'm off to Constantin now. So thanks for your time. Thank you very Great. Much. Nice to see you.